beware of virtue. Lao Tzu, the Chinese philosopher, said, the highest virtue is not virtue, and therefore really is virtue. But inferior virtue cannot let go of being virtuous, and therefore is not virtue. Translated uh, in more of a periphrastic way, the highest virtue is not conscious of itself as virtue, and therefore really is virtue. Lower virtue is so self-conscious that it's not virtue. In other words, when you breathe, you don't congratulate yourself on being virtuous. But breathing is a great virtue. It's living. When you come out with beautiful eyes, blue or brown or green as the case may be, you don't congratulate yourself for having grown one of the most fabulous jewels on earth. So it's just eyes. And you don't account it a virtue to see, to entertain the miracles of color and form. You say, oh, that's just... But that's real virtue. Virtue in the sense, the old sense of the word, a strength, as when we talk about the healing virtue of a plant. That's real virtue. But the other virtues are stuck on. They are ersatz, they are imitation virtues. And they usually create trouble. Because more diabolical things are done in the name of righteousness. And be assured that everybody of whatever nationality or political frame of mind or religion always goes to war with a sense of complete rightness. The other side is the devil. Our opponents whether in China or Russia or Vietnam, have the same feeling of righteousness about what they're doing as we have on our side. And a plague on both houses. Because, as Confucius said, the goody-goodies are the thieves of virtue. Which is the form of our own proverb. The road to hell is paved with good intentions.